Oh, right, oh, right, oh, right, oh, right, oh, right. I just played the most epic game, so much so that I knew that I had to cast this game immediately. Good luck and have fun. I've been trying to get this build to work all flipping day, and I finally did it. Spoilers alert. This is the Noboru Rush. Wait, I thought Nobru only did like a tower rush with uh, Incas and yada yada yada. No, Nobru is well known for his Inca tower rush. But a much lesser known strategy is the Nobru Eagle Flood. And man is it redonkulous if you get this to work now some of the downsides of the noboru eagle rush is that eagles take a very long time to create they are heavy on gold not so heavy on food so the goal is to basically have two racks or even three racks production at the beginning of feudal age and completely overwhelm your opponent with eagles Let's get into the build order. I, I have to I have a freaking laundry list over here, which by the way, I didn't follow very well, but it goes something like this. And uh, I'll have the build order in the description as always for you guys as well if you want to look this up on your own leisure. But I think with strategies, it's important to keep the ultimate goal in mind. And the ultimate goal here is Eagles, 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 Eagles. Could I please have some more mutter clucking eagles six on food four on wood one on board one to create a house that then goes to create a barracks which then produces two militia and then once he's done creating that barracks goes to a house two onto food then one to collect 10 gold if you want free militia if you don't want any militia then you just have that one go onto food one onto boar then to collect another board two onto food two onto berries two onto wood and then five of those villagers that are collecting underneath the tc as you click up are going to move over to gold and then one of those villagers that is under the tc needless to say this is one of those build orders that i saw and was like god i i don't know if i can do this one and i have been trying trying on several different occasions to make this crazy convoluted build order work. And I didn't do it exactly. I did it my way. And I'm quite pleased with the way I did it. So one place that we cut corners right away is that we're not going to go for three militia like the build order prescribes. We're only going to go for two militia. I find that that makes a much smoother Click up. I just done a little, little hiccup. I got it too. And you can still get as much damage done with a two militia rush oftentimes as you can with a fleet free militia rush. And it just means that you don't have to invest that additional food. We are scouting out resources, seeing what he is going for. I believe that we had seen this wood line over here and we'd also seen these berries. So we know what we can hit with that drush. Uh, by the way, this is played at about 1500 elo so this is no these are people who know how to react to things uh, for example one thing that we didn't do very well over here that villager should have actually constructed a house and it sent them to wood because it was easier and then we're gonna get the board now but then i should have had uh, a mill already you know it's it's fine keep your ultimate goal in mind when doing a new strategy Bunches and bunches of Egalas. Here's my little drush. So you have to micro this while microing the stuff that you're doing at home and trying to follow this laundry list of build orders, which is very hard to do because you have to react to what your opponent is doing. And look at this. We are just saying to ourselves, we're going to be picking off a bill. And that's going to be the end of it and sure enough we got that and we only barely got that to be honest with you that eagle had to put in some extra work there just to make that happen whole bunch onto food and i think we actually forget to go onto gold right as we click up he goes up way faster than we do uh, also could have constructed these farms a little bit earlier to have my transition go earlier you should never have this many onto 
berries some of these uh, i believe four or something in that nature should be long distancing these deers to your mill or you could opt to construct another one over there we're just trying to be as annoying as we possibly can but these militia will eventually get cleared up probably want to fight that yeah just to reduce the hp on that i was expecting from burgundians for my opponent to go scouts it's important to consider what your opponent's sieve is especially at this elo and what their best unit composition is probably looking like like for example if i saw spanish on arena i'm thinking to myself f now i gotta stop a really fast castle drop because that's just what spanish do on arena just like burgundians they're probably going to want to go for that scout line so that they eventually can tech into cavalier actually going for an archery range though which is quite precarious and bodes very very well for me as eagles do great i purposely did not look at my economy because it's an absolute donkey dumpster fire now we are going to be constructing eagles as fast as we can he's already getting eco upgrades from the next age because he is burgundians we are going to go for a blacksmith try and make this gold as efficient as possible we do a really really amazing job with making this gold efficient i can tell you that much but how this game progresses is just mamma mia pumping out eagles now from two barracks as you can see how slowly these produce i opt to make a market why because you can sell that stone very very easily also if your eco is a little bit off of whack you can just balance it out by means of that market i like having markets for that purpose and there's really no harm in a build where you're going heavy gold all in in feudal age to construct a market you're not planning on building multiple tcs you're just planning on going eagles eagles and eagles and eagles that's why we have three barracks at this time don't worry spoiler alert there's going to be more than just free roxas uh, he has walled himself up like i said this is almost 1500 elo i think uh, i played this at 1480 my opponent is 1420 or 30 at this time never ever in my wildest dreams could i have ever imagined how this was going to play out I love how he's going for scouts in this particular situation as scouts bode quite well. He hasn't quite realized how all in I am going. I'm continuously producing from free ranges. I know that I need to take good engages. I can't just take this engage over here. I need the rest of my eagles to be here. Take the hill advantage because 25% bonus damage is nothing to scoff at felt good about that engage chasing him now we need to do some economic damage because we are not really creating additional villagers yeah villager here yeah villager there but we've already lost that villager lead we are going all in eagles whether or not my opponent likes it or not and we do something crazy we decide to add two more raxes up here yes that's right we are now producing from a total of five glorious barracks barracks obamas continuously need to be very very careful with throwing my mass here if i'm attacking this lumber camp while i was playing this i was poop lording my pants i was like oh my god it's oh my god my goodness guys it's finally working i'm i'm doing the no guru i'm doing it i'm freaking doing it over here look at all the e i have freaking 18 eagles guys i was just waiting for me to throw it all down the drain, to not look for a second, to be underneath the TC, to have scouts surround me and get absolutely demolished. But the nice thing about eagles is that eagles are not that fragile overall. Like they can actually kind of stand their own. He's now getting so worried about these eagles that he has decided to go for men at arms. They're counter unit now an argument could be made that there is no real counter unit to eagles in feudal age yes men at arms do fine and all but the eagle scout in general is beefy and tanky and can take some relatively good engagement even against men at arms in 
feudal age. And that's why the no guru rush kind of works if you're a higher micro and macro player than I am, obviously. Don't want to throw anything at all. Realize that he's going in here with a whole bunch of scouts. That's not good for us. Is going to be doing a little bit of raiding over here. But you know what? We just have all these raxes. All we really need to do is put these eagles over here. Actually, one eagle is just going to clear this up, isn't it? Yeah, we lost some vills on the front. We lose some fills in the back. But he is experiencing it on his main gold. I was hoping that if I could take him off of his main gold, he was going to have a difficult time producing those men at arms. He was going to have to sell his valuable, valuable food. He's producing from two raxes. We are producing from five. Needless to say, I'm not feeling too terrible about the situation, but he is producing my counter units. Oh, a nice quick wall over here. He was not about to give this game up. He was like, Eagle Flood? That's stupid. Who came up with that strategy? Nobru. Nobru is to blame for the carnage that you're seeing. They're actually not doing too bad. These eagles are kind of dying to those men at arms to a certain degree, but villagers are now falling still ahead by five villagers. Those scout raids doing more than I thought they were going to do. These eagles getting chopped from the back, slicing and dicing. We don't even care. We just want more eagles on the field. Continual production from five, and it's not enough. We have 15 in the queue. So what do you do when you have 15 in the queue well at that point it's probably time to add more raxes all in feudal means all in feudal don't slow down if they're not castle there's no reason for you to go castle find opportunities find openings find kills where you can engage against smaller groups of military units you have the numbers you have the power just do it just flipping do it he's been in this area in a constant lock there is no going at castle age there is just feudal misery at this point, I don't care that you're Burgundians. I don't care that you have a whole bunch of men at arms. We're going to find you. We're going to find you. And look at this. Look at this trap that we set up. We're debating him with one archer to death. Or archer. One. He, he knows. He knows. He's like, what am I walking into over here? And here comes the flood, little darling. Bad path thing. Do, 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 do. Knowing that this is going to be a relatively bad engage on the hill, we decide to loop around some of our numbers to get a better surround. And these units are melting. Helter Skelter, here is the sun. Because all of your men at arms just melted away. Still has 29 men at arms uh, sprinkled around here somewhere. I have no idea where those oh they're, they're not oh they're four. Oh, those are his oh my god that was a good engage for us that was a really oh my god he says oh my god o m g well played froze the table into the freaking wall and says no more eagles he actually really liked the strategy i talked to him a little bit afterwards and i said this one is definitely going to youtube my heart was beating so loudly during this one. I didn't even talk about very well that we added more ranges or sorry, more barracks to the racks than we already have. I can't I have to like zoom out just to click the seven barracks that we have produced. Our eco consists of four on the food and 29 on gold. Whenever we need a little bit of extra food, we just market it he is trying to get more gold and we are trying to get a little bit more food uh, could have definitely balanced this out a little bit i think two or three more eagles like i said don't need a whole bunch on food they only require 20 food per eagle 
fun. Just fun. It's 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 not going to work first try. It's not going to work the second try or the third try. But if you keep at this, if you follow this build to the letter. No, don't follow it to the letter. Make your own adaptions. Have your own fun with it. Eagle Flood. Keep the idea in mind. You're going to have a good time. You're going to have some meta boys crying their freaking eyes out. And with that, boys and girls, who needs eco? Let's, let's look at the military numbers. Just whoop, whoop. We drop down, but he drops down even more significantly. KD 80 to 53. Don't let your memes just be dreams. Keep walking. No. Keep eagle walking. Poop Lord.